In this video we take care about those uh, knobs here on that side. Um, yeah, let's create a polygon cylinder. Um, let's rotate that guy. Let's rotate that guy 90 degrees in Z. And let's move this guy to the side here. Um, let's move it into a position somewhere that it sits in the center here of that thing. So let me go to the side view check that out. Move it somewhere about here. Let's go to the top view. Frame in on that. Hit F on my keyboard. Um, okay, so let's move it somewhere here. The thing is, um, yeah, so the fact that we haven't modeled the main case exactly like um, the watch is looking. We, yeah, we can't um, bring that uh, cylinder here or that knob um, into the same uh, size um, as it sh is here on that uh, on that background image. But we try to bring it at as close as we can. Okay, so take take that. Now let's uh, change the subdivisions here under the inputs to twenty four. I was actually going into that images uh, I found via Google and counted those, um, yeah, those um, things that are coming out of that cylinder. Mm, let's also change those subdivision caps here to. So click on that middle mouse, change it to something like five. Four would even work. So take yeah, let's do four subdivision caps. Um, and now let's go in here and select the face loop here, the face loop, and let's extrude that. Extrude that out uh, in in Z, the blue one here, and say we want the keep faces together off. So type in zero under that input. And yeah, we could go in and say we want to scale those out a little bit more. And then scale those in uh, the green button here. Uh, scale that in a little bit more. Yeah, and maybe we might want to move that down a little bit. And then we scale those in uh, with the red one here, so that should be X. Something like this. Okay, so let's. Um, Try that out. First of all, before we smooth that guy, we um, let's move this uh, out of the way so that we have more space uh, to work with. And now let's select an edge here. Yeah. Select this here, and then Control right click Edge Ring Utilities and Split. Set this to Multi, and with those uh, two uh, selected, let's scale those out. I'll bring that close to the end here, somewhere about here. Okay, so we smooth that. Okay, that's looking looking okay to me right now. So now we let's um, let's select a few faces here. Um, I'm using the paint select tool. Um, if I want to scale that uh, brush size here, hold on B and then middle mouse and drag that down. So now we select uh, some faces here, uh, all of those, and let's move those out somewhere about here, and then let's uh, scale that up. Okay, and let's let's. Maybe we wanna, might want to move this in just a tiny bit, and then scale that up a bit more. Let's uh, check that out, how that looks if we smooth that guy. Okay, so to give uh, this here a little bit more definition, we can select this edge loop here and scale that up. And now, let's see how that looks. Okay. It's looking, it's looking all right. So with the, uh, with that, so let's go in and um, 
again I'm using my paint selection tool go to face mode and I will select all of those faces here and um, yeah maybe we want to uh, say okay uh, hit cr uh, control right click grow selection hit G so to select to select all of those and then let's extrude all of those faces here on that side out a little bit and scale that in just a tiny bit like that maybe we bring it even in a little bit more and then we say control right click and shrink selection hit G to repeat that tool and then we extrude that guy in this direction here we can delete all those faces so because we're not seeing those and give this some uh, definition by inserting some edge loops. Now let's bring this guy back to that main case. Okay, so <coughs> it could be a little bit larger. Okay, so if you take the scale tool and then hit control and scale that In, in X. So we bring it as close to the main case here as we can without intersecting somewhere about here. So smooth that guy out. Okay, and then we might want to move it out to a point somewhere about here. Okay. So let's check it out from the top view. And yeah, it's coming definitely closer to to what you see on the background image. And the fact again that we didn't uh, yeah, model this thing out um, as it should be, we can't um, scale that um, knob uh, as large as it is on the background image. Okay, so with that uh, thing done, um, we can go in and create uh, the other two knobs, or we have to create one. But before we do that, uh, I see my time is running uh, again. So let me, us first, um, before we uh, start with the other two knobs, select the, the logo and uh, hit Control D to duplicate that. And then we move that over here. So we definitely have to rotate that guy uh, 90 degrees in X and 90 degrees in Y and then we move this guy into its position so we want to put it here on that knob so move it here so move it in, uh, in Z and then V snap it or point snap it here and then move that guy here and then go to the side view and bring this logo into its position I think the size is okay if you want to, you can scale that down a tiny bit. Somewhere here. And then we intersect it with a with a knob. Somewhere some somewhere about here. Okay. And then finally we have to insert the three points that are um, visible when you take a look at, uh, at the pictures. There are three points. Um, yeah, well that's uh, something that we do in the next video <laughs> because, oh, my time is running, time is running, time is running. Okay, so yeah, we got one, uh, the main, the bigger knob here done and let's uh, pause the video and take care about uh, the other two knobs in the next one and we will finish those uh, three uh, dots or uh, circles that are under that logo. Okay.